eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. There are a lot of differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, and there are a few similarities. So we've set up this chart to kind of compare and contrast each of them, so you can see the differences between the two. Cell type. Eukaryotic cells are usually multicellular. They're going to come in a bundle of cells, where prokaryotic cells are usually unicellular. There'll just be one single cell standing by itself. Examples would be animals and plants are composed of eukaryotic cells. There are a lot of cells that make up each animal or plant. Bacteria and archaea are prokaryotic cells. Usually it's just one cell standing by itself. Nucleus. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus and prokaryotic cells do not. They do have a nucleoid which has nuclear material just kind of floating in the cytoplasm where the eukaryotic cell has a cell membrane and has a nuclear membrane and keeps the nucleus separate from the rest of the cell. Number of chromosomes. Eukaryotic cells are going to have more than one. The prokaryotic cells are just going to have one and it's going to be a plasmid and not a true chromosome. Lysosomes and peroxisomes, yes, eukaryotic cells will have those and they will be membrane, membrane bound. Prokaryotic cells will not have membrane bound lysosomes and peroxisomes. Microtubules, yes, eukaryotic cells have them. Usually no on the prokaryotic cell, but rarely they will have microtubules, but it's very rare. It's very, it's more likely that you'll come across a prokaryotic cell that will not have microtubules. Endoplasmic reticulum. The eukaryotic cell has one and it's got parts that are both smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum, each part functioning a little bit differently. Prokaryotic cells do not have an endoplasmic reticulum. Genetic recombination. Eukaryotic cells are going to reproduce by meiosis and the fusion of gametes. Prokaryotic cells are, it's partial and undirectional reproduction. It just kind of transfers DNA to another cell. So it isn't as if the cell is splitting and giving half of its DNA matter to something else. It's just transferring some to a new cell. DNA wrapping on proteins. In eukaryotic cells, the DNA wraps around proteins called histones. In prokaryotic cells, there are multiple proteins that fold and condense the DNA, and once it's folded and condensed, it's supercoiled and wound around tetramers of HU protein. Mitochondria? Yes, eukaryotic cells have them. No, prokaryotic cells don't. And you can see the eukaryotic cells are going to be a lot more complex than the prokaryotic cells. So they do have more things in them, and the prokaryotic cells have less inside of them. Flagella. These are microscopic on eukaryotic cells. They're membrane-bound, and they are usually arranged as nine doublets, so nine little pairs of flagella surrounding two singlets. On prokaryotic cells, they are submicroscopic, so even with a normal microscope, you wouldn't be able to see them. And they're composed of only one fiber, where this one has nine little fibers, nine sets of little fibers surrounding two singlets. Cytoskeleton. Yes, the eukaryotic cell has a defined cytoskeleton. With prokaryotic cells, it may or may not be present. You may have some little bits that give it a, a skeletal shape, but usually there's not much cytoskeleton in a prokaryotic cell. Ribosomes are going to be present in both. They're going to be larger in the eukaryotic cells and smaller in the prokaryotic cells. The Golgi apparatus will be present in the eukaryotic cell and absent in the prokaryotic cell. Chloroplasts, yes, they will be in eukaryotic cells if it's a plant. Chloroplasts are what holds the chlorophyll. So in plants, you've got chloroplasts to hold the chlorophyll in. In prokaryotes, no, you do not have chloroplasts. The chlorophyll is just kind of scattered in the cytoplasm, little dots here and there to um, help absorb the sunlight. Vesicles, yes, in both the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells, and vacuoles, yes, in both. So 
here's what they have directly in common, that they both have vesicles and both have vacuoles. Now, on some of these other characteristics, they do have something similar. Um, they both have ribosomes, but one is larger and one is smaller. They both have nuclear material, so the eukaryotic cell has a defined nucleus, and the prokaryotic cell has the nucleoid, which has some genetic material in it. And then cell size is going to be 10 to 100 micrometers, which is really small, and prokaryotic cell is going to be 1 to 10 micrometers. So you can see that the cell size on eukaryotic cells are going to be about 10 times, small, 10 times larger on average than these tiny prokaryotic cells. There is a lot of information here, and there's a lot to remember about prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, but as you learn about each one of these things individually, it will be easier to remember which one goes with which, and you can always refer back to this chart to kind of keep track of what is in a eukaryotic cell, what character characteristics the eukaryotic cell has, and what all is inside of a prokaryotic cell and what characteristics it has. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.